all right welcome back today we have a schedule on a relay delivery app from 7 30 to 8 a.m then from 8 a.m to 9 a.m we got an uber eats schedule because we do that here in nyc so yeah today's gonna be more of a day of um, multi apps whereas typically i just use grubhub so here's what happened with my relay schedule so i was supposed to work 6 30 to 7 and then i think 7 30 to 8. so this morning i got on the train during the ride i realized that my train is local didn't even realize that the local train was running on the express track this morning sat down for two seconds all right so we got our first job so i came to the park actually so let's wait until i got something as soon as i sat down but we're going to bagel pub it's actually just right up the street so one thing on relay it only shows you where you're um, picking up from it doesn't show you where you're dropping off i could pick this up and go to harlem um there is a mileage limit on relay and it says two miles so i'm assuming they're gonna hold true to that because i remember back in the day they used to send you some far orders and mind you you already picked up the order so it's not like you could just cancel it because i remember once i went from they sent me on like a 40 50 block delivery pissed me off and that was the same day i broke my phone picking up that order i broke my phone i was so mad all right see so we're here at the pub all right so i clicked that i arrived at the store and it's doing this like get in locations get in connection send in data i've never seen it do that before before it actually got an error message and i had to reconnect i have no idea what's going on all right so this is one thing i do like with relate it will show you the screen if your order is not ready and it only changes once your order is ready so you know when you can go in there and pick it up i actually prefer it this way then you don't get a bunch of couriers just standing inside the restaurant all right so i've been here maybe like probably roughly 10 minutes it's still on this screen i thought maybe the app didn't update so i closed it out a bunch of times and then i reopened it but apparently it's just not ready i'm about to actually head inside and go see wait hold on oh never mind it, it just popped up all right i'm here for sophia thank you all right so we got it you know what's funny since i'm only scheduled 30 minutes i'm pretty much only gonna do this one order <laughs> i mean it's fine though it is what it is now let's see where are we going to i have the order confirm west 26th street all right cool probably like a not even 10 minute trip so not bad hey one thing i forgot to mention relay does they pay hourly similar to just a regular a w2 so as long as you're on a schedule on the relay they start paying you hourly and then you get whatever tips are attached to the orders but i've noticed most of my relay orders came from doordash i mean not doordash grubhub so i'm assuming there are no tip grubhub orders that nobody wanted so they send them to relay that's my assumptions anyway Oh no, call Zero Enigma. I'm going the wrong way. I thought it was right here, but apparently I'm wrong. It's like all the way down at the end of the street. Cause there's a building, this building right here with all the kids going to. I used, I deliver there all the time. So I just automatically assume that I'm going there. Morning. Yeah, okay. thank you. So there's a delivery shelf right here. Never leave the orders on. I have to put it at the top. Hopefully they're tall enough. Take photo. Damn right I'm taking a photo. Alright, so they're actually sending me a second another order. My shift was supposed to be over, but they don't kick you offline until 15 minutes after. I'ma do it. Kosar's bagels. Alright, we're here at Kosar's. Look, it's doing the it's doing the thing again. Reconnect, get a location, error. Then I click refresh. So it's like I have to close the app every time I get to a restaurant. I got Adrian W. Thank you. Oh yeah, so really also does this a really annoying thing. When you're at a store, like when you checked into the store, it starts playing this annoying beeping sound. It's just in your ears like din din like every three seconds. It's kind of, it reminds me of like when you uh, when you're in a car and you don't put on your seatbelt. Where are we going? I did not check. East 39th Street. Alright, cool. An address I'm familiar with. I'm supposed to be doing Uber right now, but yeah, about that. <laughs> oh See, that's 
city bike then? Here at my customer. I'm pretty sure they're gonna kick me offline after I drop this off. Now here's a here's a play, here's a play. I got a double order on Uber Eats to go pick up. Picked up both orders. Now these are going far, 14 minutes away. I don't mind far distance in the mornings. Correction, I don't mind a lot of things in the morning. I'll be chilling. <laughs> It's later in the day I, I start getting cranky. So like low-key, I'm a morning person. The other thing is I just can't wake up. But once I'm out here, I'm usually like always in a good mood. Like nothing gets me annoyed. Look at this, hardly any traffic. I love it. All right, we're here at the first customer. All right, just schedule myself some more and relay for tomorrow. Yeah, I only got like an hour and a half tomorrow, but it is what it is. There wasn't really a much schedules available. So I got another order to go pick up as soon as I drop this one off. Oh, nice. Let's see. All right, so we're here at Ben Ben uh, Ben 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 uh, Yeah, yeah, we're here. We're here. Yep. Past few videos, I've just been butchering restaurant names, man. I, I'm here for Mazdaq. There you go, bud. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, there is a QR code. Alright. Alright, so I had to scan a QR code. I think I've only had to do it at like one other pickup. And I'm pretty sure it was at Chopped. Alright, we're three minutes away from this customer. It's always so peaceful over here. Yet another order to go pick up after I drop this off. This one's only four dollars. You know, it's funny. Um, somebody commented on one of my videos when the mandates first kicked in, and on Uber Eats, customers can only tip during or after deliveries here in NYC. <laughs> somebody commented and said, "Oh, it's drivers like you taking all these shitty orders. That's ruining it for us." I'm just like, bro, do you not even know what's happening right now? All right, so I'm gonna pick up this order, but I wanna do a quick like little wrap up of the relay shift, that quick relay shift. Did work a full hour of relay from 7.32 a.m. to 8.32 a.m. So it was exactly an hour. We made uh, $30.72. Pulled out 30 an hour on relay, not bad. And I also could see, it shows you all the shifts you've worked. My last shift working relay, November 30th. 2022 i hadn't worked really in over a year almost two years bro a year and a half i hadn't worked really that's crazy but yeah the numbers for that relay shift was pretty good actually 30 bucks actually hold on i think it goes more into details only did two orders the first order was a 10 dollar tip damn and then the second one was a 7 dollar 37 cent tip damn not bad really yeah, I will be working more shifts tomorrow. It is fun using the new app. I'm not going to... Well, it's not new. But since I hadn't used it in so long, it feels new. It's like every Bluestone... Every Bluestone lane that I've ever picked up from is like really slow. <laughs> Even for the regular customers. I'm going to wait like five minutes. Hey, Siri. Set timer for five minutes. All right. So my five-minute timer went off. Walked inside. It was ready. I just dropped off here to a college. 
a BMCC, but I got another double order. Got an alcohol order and something else. Yo, look at all this traffic. Cannot be me, dog. All right, so we got both orders in the bag. Hold on. All right, it's not a coffee in there. Cool. Let's check in. It was Bluestone and the alcohol order. I'm going to 666 Greenwich. All right, Satan, I heard you. I'm getting a lot of action this morning. I still got to do lunch shift, so hopefully that's busy too. Hopefully Grubhub treats me good. Send me some double 30s. All I need is two. All I need is two double 30s. Not asking for much, just the best possible. Hi. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. All right, guys, so the next drop off is, of course, the alcohol delivery. So I'm actually going to take my GoPro off from now because breakfast shift is done already. It's already 10 o'clock, 10.06 to be exact. And I always felt weird, like when I'm recording a video and I got to do a, ooh, look at that, look at that, ooh. And I got to do like an alcohol delivery. And then like they notice the GoPro, it always looks just looks sketchy. <laughs> All right, just picked up my first order from the lunch shift. It was a nine dollar bread and bakery order. One of my videos actually got copyrighted for the, like the first time since I've been monetizing. It was the first time ever getting copyrighted. So the, the music I always put in my videos is from a group called Nefex. The thing with Nefex is a lot of people recreate their songs like their instrumentals. So sometimes the recreated ones, since it's not actually Nefex the group themselves, because they make their in what is it? What is she doing? Because because <laughs> they make their instrumentals free, they make it copyright friendly, so anybody can use it. But since other people are remixing, they're remixing and recreating all those songs. Technically, it's theirs because they're the one who made it. So yeah got hit up by copyright and it's crazy because it's i found that song and i really liked it i was so hyped to put it in the video and then now half of what i make is going to be uh it's going to be shared between them These mandates have me delivering to no tippers. So we got a little $4 order. I typically don't like doing the orders this low, but when it's as close as it is on the map, I'll just knock it off real quick. Zero Enigma, Zero Enigma. Where you at? I'm going the wrong way. All right, we just walked in and got it. All right, it's a burrito, it's not a coffee. So I can just drop it in there. Customer's like a minute away. I ordered this successfully delivered. It was to a, it was to a school. It was a student. So her name was Kira, so I, I had to ask. I was like, that's your real name? Or is that just like a death note reference? <laughs> she laughed, she was like, nah, it's my name. I really had to know. Cause I saw Kira, I'm just like, so let me call L on your ass. All right, I'm about to go pick up another order. Oh, Shit is like really far away. But the drop off is next to it, so that's cool. All right, so this was a massive order. I think it was 10 items total. So yeah, this order was 10 items. So I had to wait like 10 minutes not bad when you think about it like that and then the drop off is like probably like two minutes away i could not find the entrance to this building it took me probably like five plus minutes all right yeah because the address they gave me isn't actually what the number is because the number on here is 860 washington but the address they gave me is 437 west 13th street and that don't exist. Tried calling the customer, they didn't respond. But luckily, I spoke to a security guard and he gave me the right directions. And man, look at all this food. They lucky and left with the shit. It's 
open. So, I'll leave it right here. so the door was open. So I just walked in. I just walked in and left it on the table. I got another order to go pick up. It's eight bucks, electric burrito. Order's ready, they're just packing it up. But they have us pick up outside, which I actually don't mind. Thank you. It's another big order, five items. Heavy bag too. Bro over there almost died. I don't know if the GoPro saw that. shit yep it's hot as hell outside <laughs> and i'm tired bro we made 98 dollars and 93 cents if i remember correctly for the lunch shift 11 to 3 13 that's the current time gonna add that into whatever i made in this morning and that's the total for today i don't know if i did good or not i honestly don't even know i didn't do the math yet